Hello everyone, um, yeah, Brenton here from It's All Knight. So we're going to go through all the, like, NHL contracts from day two, uh, and go through every single one of them. I'm in a Red Wings jersey just because I think they had a, a pretty solid day today. Um, uh, I've already made a video of the trades that happened today, the three of them. So yeah, let's jump straight in, let's not waste any time here. Uh, Troy Stetcher and Grice moved to the Red Wings. Um, really good deals, uh, especially the fact that the Red Wings in goaltending and defense are quite light on. Um, so Grice, two years at $3.6 million, and Stetcher uh, at two years at one7 per. So really good contracts in the fact that they don't go for years and years and years. If the players work out, they can look to trade them, they can look to keep them, they can get some wins. If they don't work out, they're not on the hook for a lot of money. It's a, it's a really good deal for a franchise like this. We've seen the Red Wings, the Devils, uh, Ottawa being on a few of these sort of players to, you know, see if they can up up build them and get them back to where they need to be, especially in Stetch's case. So, uh, really good effort here. Uh, then the Colorado Avalanche signed Borokovsky, um to a, a pretty I mean, it's a lot of money that they're, they're giving up, and, and this was a team that some people thought may have been in on Taylor Hall. It's two years at $4.9 million per uh, for someone who scored 20 goals once in a season. Um, obviously, he offers a little bit more, and he played quite well in the playoffs, and at least, again, there's not a huge amount of turn. That third or fourth year could have really killed you in this deal, but they may regret that. It just seems to be a lot of money uh, on the hook for a player like this, but at the same time, you know, the... It was an RFA, so there was a you know arbitrator and a few things that were looming down the way. So I can see them doing this, but ugh, no, I don't don't love the deal. The Leafs who have been very busy uh, in making trades got uh, Zach Bergeron into the lineup, so really good signing from them. Um, yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. That that that's a handy 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 little signing. And then a fringe fourth line forward in Travis Boyd. Uh, I mean, I don't see that they really needed a player like this. I think they have enough fringe players that are, are, are like Boyd, but, you know, you can never have too much depth, right? And it only costs $700,000, so yeah. And they've definitely added to their defense in Bogosian, so pretty good in that part. Uh, speaking of Colorado, from before I did I did miss, I would have been great if I just got that straight after it, but they also re-signed uh, Natrushkin. Uh, pretty good little deal for them here. Um, it had an all right season with them last season, getting 27 points out of 65 games. Um, he's two years at 6.5 mil per. Um, not too bad seeing that he was making, you know, 2.9 million there, the, you know, a, a few years ago. So, um, yeah, he's kind of one of those players that you don't want to be overpaying, and they may be overpaying a little bit here, but nothing crazy. So, and they've been able to keep his services. And again, they Colorado do think they can win a cup, so they don't want to blow anything up. Boston have finally done something. Um, they've signed Craig Smith to a three times three point one million dollar deal. Oh, I really like this has got regret written all over it. I know it's not all a huge amount of money, but thirty one years old. Um, he's a few years removed from when he got fifty points in a season. He seems to be only be able to get thirty. And three mil for 30 points, I have a feeling Boston's going to uh, chew that guy out and spit him out. It's just not really going to work out, but hopefully it's okay. But oh, I, for a team that was in on OEL and, and they're not getting him now, apparently, and um, this is all they've done. It, it hasn't been a great offseason seeing what they have to replace in losing Krug. Washington help out their fringe defense with Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a handy little signing, right? Like, you can never have too many of those kind of low-end D players. Um, never really hit his upside uh, TVR, so the JVR. But, um, yeah, like, it's not a terrible, terrible contract. Chicago re-signed Zadorov. Uh, after I made the trade video, I knew that he was getting a qualified offer done. But, yeah, one year at $3.2 million. Um, so that's been all sorted after the trade. So, I mean, no real surprise here. They'll definitely going to get that deal done. Um, but yeah, they managed to. Buffalo avoided arbitration with Mon Monitor. Um, so yeah, getting him at one year at 3.85 million. Not a terrible, terrible deal. Um, gives him another year to figure this out. He'll be a UFA next year, so they don't have to worry about arbitration or anything like that. So, um, yeah, but if he has a good season, they're going to be on the hook for a fair bit of money. Or they're just going to walk away from his rights. But, yeah, where this team's at right now financially, I think it's a very big question mark and everyone's up in the air, so I don't surprise that, I'm not surprised at them doing a one-year deal here. They also made a pretty savvy move in picking up Cody Eakin at two years, uh, $2.25 million. Um, the reason why I say it's savvy is he had a very down year last year, just couldn't get it together, was injured for some of it as well. 
and it's only upside from here for him. If he does bail out and fail, like this team is not competing or anything like that, so there's no there's no downside there. They're out of the contract in two years when they hopefully can start to get good in three or four years. If he is good, then they've got a really good player or a player they can trade away so uh, to get more assets. So perfect, really good, really, really good deal. Um, yeah, he'll, I mean, you'll have to figure it out because they don't have a lot of forwards and he'll be playing a, a prime role. So yeah, it's going to be massive for his career. Uh, Jesper Fast of uh, Carolina Hurricanes now um, signed a three by two deal. I really, really like this deal, and I really like him on this team. I think that that's something they've been missing as a bottom six scoring forward, um, or someone that can score as a threat to do so. Um, he definitely shows up in the playoffs, has been seen when he was with the Rangers a few times. So really, really like this deal. They're not on the hook for a huge amount of money. I, I Usually I'm against some of these contracts sometimes, but I, I think this is a really good value and he adds a lot of identity to the um, the Hurricanes, who are, are definitely like kind of in the mindset of like, we need to win a, we need to start doing some damage in the playoffs now. Kevin LeBlanc, uh, LeBanc, sorry, not LeBanc, uh, LeBanc uh, gets a four-year extension at 4.725 at the uh, San Jose Sharks. So uh, I think he was promised an extension down the road uh, last year. So, um, so yeah, this is just obviously the team coming through. Pretty good extension. I mean, nothing really to look too much at here. He's a handy player. Um, yeah, we'll move on. Yeah, Edmonton, kind of interesting here. Um... I feel like they whiffed on a few of the goaltenders they were going for. So they've, uh, so Mike Smith, come on down. Um, one year, 1.5 cap hit. Um, I think there's bonuses that can make it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, that's a that's an interesting one. I'm curious how this one goes. And uh, bringing in Tyson Barry is a, a really good signing from them. One year, 3.7. Yeah, he didn't work out at the Leafs. But he got screwed around to the Leafs at the start there. He really did get effed around by that team. So I'd like to see if he can get it together this season. I mean, he's been two seasons now that he's kind of been on a decline. But um, if he comes with the right mindset and works really hard, he might be able to get things going and, and, and restart a career in a team screaming out for a good defender. So... Um, yeah, the Wild are uh, getting uh, Jordan Greenway on an extension, uh, two by two, one uh, a year. So, bit of an overpayment for a player that's again hasn't got over that thirty point mark. Um, they obviously see a bit of upside with him. He's twenty three years old still. So, again, they're not locking themselves in a huge amount. Just that last year of the deal could hurt if you know you get the free agency and there's someone available, but you've still got that two point three. I guess you might be able to move it, but then you're not getting anything back for your assets. So it's just, it's a bit difficult to work out. Um, but if he does an up season, then you're not on the hook for it. But I, I can't, I, I think we know what his ceiling is. Yoko uh, signs at Vegas at $700,000. Makes sense. They uh, look like they're in on Patriangelo, so they really need to save as much money as they can. So this is a player that might be able to come in and do something uh, in the lineup from the get-go. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the video. Uh, if you did like this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit subscribe. We're up to 253 now, so it really would help us out. Um, we are really excited how this is going. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all the real NHLers that have, that have got contracts. Obviously, there's a few fringe ones and a few other people, like Nate Thompson's a really good example um, of a player that I'm just like, I'm not. Jason Magna, there's a, there's a prime example of a player that I'm like, yeah, like people would know his name, but I'm not going to talk about him. It's a waste of everyone's time. This video goes for way too long. Yesterday's video went for like 40 minutes. It was unbelievable. And then editing out all my arms and R's and just like, uh, what is... What is this guy's contract? Just me mumbling to no one. So yeah. Um, yeah, comment down below. Do you agree with any of these deals? Um, there'll be another video coming up tonight, uh, which will give us an update of everyone who's still out there that's a big name, including Oliver Ekman Larson. We've had some pretty recent updates with him. Uh, Hall, uh, Patrangelo, a few of the bigger names seeing getting an update on them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you. And bye.